after four years you will leave Ammonia. How do you feel about that? Um, very mixed emotions, I think. Um, but I feel it's the right time now for me and my family to um, to go on a, a new adventure. I've had a, an amazing time here. Mm -hmm. um, you know, one that I never thought was possible, really. Um, yeah, I think it's the right time. It's, a, it's you know, it's a, it's a family decision that we've made together. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely nothing to do with the football decision why we left okay. Ammonia at all. But it's one we're uh, we're excited about now. How difficult was the decision for you? It was very difficult, very very difficult to be honest with you. Um, I mean, if we go back to last year, mm -hmm. not last season, last year, um, after I had a tough time here with you know different coaches and stuff mm -hmm. in my third year, you know, I thought I was going to do it then. I thought I thought I was going to end my time at Ammonia then, but my wife, thankfully, my wife um, told me there's no way you can leave the club. Um, like this, after scoring a couple of goals in the season, um, so we decided to stay one more year uh, and leave on a high, and that was the most important thing for me: is to leave with my head held high at the club. And um, you know, for me, you know, winning the league and and uh, getting to the Champions League qualifiers is is, is my job's done. That is the main reason that you are going to leave. I think I think when you when you're a family man and you're not living with your family and it's it's um, it's very difficult, mate, mm -hmm. not not to live with your kids and see your kids grow up and, and yes. things like this. So I mean, we was we wanted to live in Australia after football anyway, and it, it, okay. this this uh, offer came um, a year early, should I say? Um, but it's one we couldn't turn down. Now, which are your new steps? My new steps, mm. yeah, obviously we're going to Australia yes. uh, in, mm -hmm. in the coming months. The season will start in December and I'm, I'm looking forward to it, yeah. yeah. Uh, the teams, the fans, as characterised as a legend of the club, how do you feel about that? Mm. <sighs> I've always, I mean, people you know, talk about footballers in general. I just, I'm just a normal, normal person who kicks a ball, mm -hmm. ball around. And to be called a legend at the club is very nice, of course. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it a lot. but. I just look at myself as a normal person kicking a, you know, doing something I love uh, mm -hmm. doing in front of people I love also. Mm -hmm. uh, you managed to take um, a place among the top goal scorers on Cyprus. Yeah. Do you expect that when you first came here? Not at all, no. I, mm -hmm. I, I came, I mean, my first thing was to come here and, and try and do as, as, well as, I, well, as well as I could and, you know, get, get in the top goal scorer two years in a, in a row was, was, was amazing. Um, great times, difficult circumstances for the club. Okay, it was nice to get a, um, an award myself, but the, you know the main thing since I've been here was to do well with the team and play in Europe, and that's why I came here. Mm -hmm. You earned the, the love and the respect from the football fans in Cyprus. Yeah, yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. um, I think anybody that puts their jersey on, mm -hmm. and you know, because I'm only a, you know. They're the working people, if you will. Mm -hmm. Anyone that shows passion and and works hard for the team, regardless of the situations around you, which was difficult at the time, in the first two years was difficult, um, they're going to take to you, I think, and it's the same in any football country, any, 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 any job in life, never mind football. If you do well at your job, people will, will take to you. Mm. Uh, you scored uh, 69 times with green t-shirt. Yeah. Tell us three goals you remember the most. <laughs> three goals. Well, I, I I definitely remember my first goal. Yes. Um, was in the qualifiers, mm -hmm. the, uh, Europe, Europe Europe qualifiers away. Yes. Uh, I remember scoring against Ike, which was was nice. I think mm -hmm. in the the two one winner. Yes. Um, and I definitely definitely remember my last goal. Because I was looking the other day at the pictures and mm -hmm. it was a penalty away at AL and it was in the last minute, I think it was. Yes. And that was, yeah, mm -hmm. that was my 69th goal and um, <laughs> one I'll never forget. Which game will you will always remember and why? Um, there's many, many games. Mm -hmm. um, I, think, I think the one which stands out for me is the... Um, is the one I scored a hat trick in, 
in three or four minutes, I think it was. Against Ethan Goss? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Um, that was quite memorable because I think we was losing at the time. And I came on and managed to help the team, you know, turn it around and, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, score the hat trick. Which is the best moment in those four years? The best mm -hmm. moment was four. I think, I think at the end of this season, mm -hmm. uh, achieving what you know after four years, achieving what we've, what I came here to set out and and do is to, okay, I know we didn't get the recognition what we deserved of winning the league, but yes. we was first in the league and and we got the Champions League qualifiers and that was my aim, um, what I came here to do, mm -hmm. uh, for this club when we did it. Tell us about your celebration. Why you choose this celebration? You going, are going to keep it in Australia, this celebration? Uh, listen, I, I, when, <laughs> I, when I came here, I couldn't believe how the fans took to me directly. You know, I, I, I couldn't believe it. And I've never, I never planned my celebration. I remember scoring against, um, in, in Europe at home, I think it was. Mm -hmm. Benantz, maybe. Um, and I just ran over to the side and it just came out. I, don't, I didn't, never planned it. I've yes. never done this celebration before. And it was, it was kind of a, a thank you, like a salute to you guys, you know. Thank you for taking me under your wing straight away without really doing anything at the club. Mm -hmm. um, I know I had my Olympiacos ties back in the day, yeah. but still, you know, what you did in, in the past is the past. But they took to me straight away and, and it was, yeah, one of them things. And now you keep it? I think <laughs> I will, yeah. <laughs> you like Hopefully it? I can I'll keep it and I'll be able to score goals. Yeah. That's, I have to score the goals first to be able to keep this. Okay. Um, but yeah, let's, let's see. Mm -hmm. What you will miss most from Cyprus and Ammonia? Well, first of all, Ammonia, um, mm -hmm. you know, it's been a very, very um, emotional roller coaster the last couple of days, mm -hmm. leaving Elias Poulas and leaving the guys behind and, you know, the kit men and all the people around the club that have, you know, been my friends and family for the last four years. So, you know, leaving my second family behind is, is uh, is a big thing. And from Cyprus? The fans, of oh, course. Okay. Um, you know, you can you can mm -hmm. pick loads about the lifestyle and s stuff like that, but mm -hmm. without all this around it, you know, the fans and the people that, that have helped me in my journey here as well, uh, been so good to me and my family, you know, because that's the most important thing is when you're on the, on the streets, you're walking on the streets and people, you know, take to you and acknowledge you for the work you've done is, is amazing. And I'll never forget that. Describe us an incident with a fan that we, we will never forget. Paying for my dinner? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I, I, I don't think I've had any bad moments here. I mean, I've had okay. one bad moment here when things weren't going right, but that's, that's, that's normal, you know. Mm. The, the Ammonia fans are passion, passionate and hungry for success, and so they should be, because it's a massive club, and we're only showing now our potential where we can be and where we're going to be. Because I believe in the future, it's going to be mm -hmm. we're going to be taking off now, you know. Um, but day-to-day -day life and you know, going into a coffee shop and the you know, fans paying for your meals and blah 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 blah, it's, it's it's unreal. So you have a good time here in Cyprus those four years. Do you feel the country is as your second home? Of course, of mm -hmm. course, I will. I will definitely try my best to come back here. I I feel I feel like I'm always wanted here. So. That's always nice when you go to a country where you, you feel you're always wanted. So, 100% I'll be back. What do you think about the future of money? Um, I gave an interview um, three or four months ago. At the yeah, back end, you know, when, when the season finished, when the COVID happened, um, about the ground we've we've laid out now, Ammonia. Um, you know, we've we've set out a really good base now. Yes. And I believe the structure of the club is only getting better. Mm -hmm. And I said it before and I'll say it again. I believe Ammonia, I mean, I don't want to put pressure on the players, but I believe Ammonia will, will, will try to dominate yes. for many years to come like we used to do. Mm -hmm. What does Ammonia mean to you? Family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, that's all I can say. I can say family. and it's, it's, It is. It's a, it's a really big family. Um, Past players and future players, I'm sure they've felt that as well. And regardless of how they've left the club, it is a big family. And you know, I've never, especially this year, the, the dressing room has been unbelievable. You know, we've had a great camaraderie in the dressing room, and mm -hmm. also with the staff and, and the coach and everybody around the club. Um, it feels like one big family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And one la last message to the fans. 
Um, thank you. Thank you for everything. Um, for taking to me and my family. It's been amazing and uh, I appreciate everything. Okay, thank, thank you very much. Cheers. Good luck to your next step. Thank you.